Hey guys, uh, in this video we will um, work on our um, event system or basically a system where we are able to subscribe to uh, some sort of events uh, which occur during our game and when they occur um, we can invoke them uh, on anything that is listening to the event. Yeah? So, uh, this is uh, especially helpful when you are trying to make um, like a winning conditions for a, for a, for your game. Like um, you want to have two conditions met when the game is over, or even more uh, conditions before something else is triggered. Um, okay, so let's uh, get started in our shared folder. Let's create a new uh, C# -sharp script. Let's call this um, let's call it Event Bus. Okay, well, let's open it up. Um, there we go. Now, first we're going to remove the mono behavior because we are not going to uh, use it here. Okay, so um, what we're going to do, we're going to add listeners to, uh, to, to an event and uh, then let the event uh, be, um, well, uh, raised. So, to do so, we're gonna pass in uh, an event listener, event listener class. So let's make a new nested class here. Let's call this um, event listener. There we go. And we are gonna make a class because we want to do uh, a method and maybe also want to tell them if we want to execute it only once. Uh, so first let's make a delegate uh, void uh, for the callback and uh, like public bool uh, for uh, is single shot so when we only want to um, invoke the method once and otherwise we have the and of, of course we also have the uh, callback uh, method let's make a constructor here and always set the is single shot mode to true. By default, a boolean is set to false. So when we are instantiating a new instance of the event listener class, we will always set the single shot to true. Okay. Now back to the event bus class. So make sure you're outside of the event listener class again. Um, let's make a, a dictionary, a private uh, dictionary. Uh, and we probably need the uh, generic collection here and we're going to make a uh, for now we're going to use the key for a string value so which will be the name of the event and then we're going to add the iList uh, event listener so that is basically a list of our event listeners which are subscribed to the method and uh, let's call this m event table and let's make a private uh, dictionary string i list event listeners the same one event listener and which is the uh, the property and it's gonna get and then check the event table if m uh, event table equals no we're gonna instantiate a new one and then we're going to return it. Okay, so this is uh, what we have been doing all along. So this just should be straightforward. Now let's make the method to add the listener to the um, to the event bus. So public void add uh, listener, which will take in uh, take a name and the event uh, listener method, which we um, which we are subscribing to. So now we're going to check if the event table, if it contains the key of the name of the uh, method. And if it does, uh, if it doesn't, I'm sorry, we're going to add the uh, event table, we're going to add the new uh, name, and we're going to instantiate a new list of event listeners. Yeah. So. Uh, you can see I'm declaring an I list here, which is uh, presumably faster than just a list because we can only we cannot make any changes over it when we have added stuff to the collection. But
but we are instantiating here uh, a list. Yeah. So we're going to add it, the name to the to the event table with a new empty list, so we don't get a null reference when we are adding items to it. Now, uh, let's also check if the uh, event table, uh, if event table name, if it contains uh, our um, listener already. We're gonna just simply return. We're gonna we don't we're not going to add it twice, and then we're gonna say event table uh, name add listener listener okay so now the, the listener is added to the event table okay and now we only need uh, a way to raise the event so let's make a public void race race event uh, which will take in the name we can also make an enum here for the string names uh, but I'm gonna keep it uh, generic like like this for now. Uh, let's first check if we even have the um, the name. So if we contain key name uh, name, then we're gonna return. So if we don't have the event, if we don't have anything uh, subscribed listening to the event, we're not doing anything. And or else we're gonna loop through all the items in the container, in the, I'm sorry, in the event listener list, and invoke them. So if uh, event table name, and then probably account, there we go. So we're gonna loop through the event, and then we're gonna check, get the item here first. So event listener, uh, listener, equals to event table uh, name y um, again I'm looping through uh, I'm making a for loop instead of making a for each loop over the items because I'm gonna remove items from the uh, list if we are not making a single shot so first we're gonna say listener uh, method and so we're gonna invoke the method here and then we're gonna say if listener is single shot, we're gonna remove it from the event table. Remove uh, the listener. Okay. So this should uh, do what we want. Now let's head over to the game manager and um, let's make a reference to our event bus. Now let's copy over one of the other properties. Event bus. And then M event bus. There we go. And instead of getting a game object, we're just going to instantiate a new instance of the event bus. Okay. So pretty straightforward. Now, um, like I said, you could use the event bus for triggering an event, um, and then any class that's listening to that event can do something. Um, let's, for this example, make uh, when our enemy player dies, uh, yeah, should be an NPC enemy health. So when our player dies, we're going to make an. Um, going to uh, create an event so we're going to say um, game manager instance event bus and then we're going to say raise event and let's call this um, enemy dead oh, that doesn't really matter um, so now this event will get raised when the enemy player dies so let's get a any class it doesn't really matter uh, which one? Let's take the ammo pickup. It doesn't really matter. Um, public void, uh, and then on the start method, we're gonna listen to that event. So we're gonna say game manager instance event bus add listener, which will take in the name, which is the name of the event. There we go, and then we're gonna add the new event listener.
Okay, now this, uh, like I said, the constructor has a default is single shot, shot to false. So we only gonna add the method here. And the method is a callback. So we can do it like this, if you want. Um, so I'm gonna show you two, two ways here. So first we have the delicate setup right here. So we can say uh, print um, enemy death, death uh, listener, uh, whatever. So you can do it like this. Or we could make a method here, void uh, do this, print uh, hello, and then instead of method with a delegate, we can say do this, yeah? which is uh, exactly, exactly the same. But I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, so um, let's see if it's gonna work. Uh, so what, we now have ammo pickup, so we get uh, more, if it's, uh, I mean, we have uh, a few ammo pickups right here, and I added it here, so we're gonna get more enemy death listeners, uh, if, if it's correct, let's see. Why? There we go. Oh, still getting that error here. We're gonna fix that uh, as well. Let's see, yeah, enemy death listener got triggered three times. Uh, yeah, this is the, let's see, this is the ammo pickup. Uh, ammo pickup, what is this? What's this? Also ammo pickup. I expected it to be five times actually. Let's see what happens here. Um, actually, a good way to test this. Let's gonna print out the name. So let's say it transforms name. And let's first fix this issue. It's probably because our bullet has a mesh collider, a bullet hole has a mesh collider, and we don't need a mesh collider. So let's remove the mesh collider here. Let's see what happens now. Okay. So now we get the assault rifle MO3, shotgun MO1, and assault rifle MO2, which are saying it. Let's see. So assault rifle MO2, yeah. Shotgun MO1. Uh, shotgun MO, assault rifle MO3. Assault rifle MO. Hmm. So the one isn't invoked. I'm not really sure why not. Probably because it thinks it's already added. What? Let's check it here. No. Nope. Print. Come on. Already here. Print is, uh, of course, we because we're not uh, inheriting from money behavior, we cannot use a log. So, debug uh, print or draw line. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. So it should, it was working, I think. Maybe I was searching for something which, which wasn't there even. Let's give it one more try. Yep, 
yeah well probably missed uh, probably missed it so that does uh, work for our um, event man manager uh, event bus I hope you uh, can understand why we are able to uh, this this will be a very powerful way to uh, create events without uh, a real event where we are subscribing to yeah because now you can get access to an event on any class anywhere without any reference between them um, one thing to note it's maybe more difficult to know where an event is triggered so right now we are using names we probably should change this to enums later um, but then you would get uh, quite a list of events um, so we're going to keep it like this for now and when we are messing around too much with it we're going to change it to uh, enums all right that's it for now uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one take care